Good year, Dino friends. Not good day, but a new year is here, or at least it was already here for you guys. But as most of you know, I was on a break for January. So now I'm back. I just had a break just like last year for almost the entire month of January. So happy new year. This is my first chance to say happy new year. And this will be my looking back on last year and looking forward to 2023 video, I guess. Yeah, I, let's just begin at the beginning. Actually, it was two years ago in 2021 when I made another channel. Uh, it was called The Dino Noob and I made Roblox Dino videos. Do people still remember The Dino Noob? I know, I know some of you do. I know a few of you do. I quickly realized that most dino games in Roblox are kind of dead with very few players. A hundred is a lot for a dino specific game in Roblox, which is kind of sad. And even though I love I love playing all dino ga games, even if it's like not a dino game, but like a game that has dinos, you know, like let's say Adopt Me. It's not a dino game, but it has dinos. I even like that. I like everything that has to do with dinos in games. But not that many people liked watching that. They really wanted to see other stuff as well. So I decided I was going to make other things that I thought were kind of like Dinos maybe or had the same kind of fans. So on the Dino Noob channel, I quickly started making Shark Bite and Godzilla and Dragon videos. So things that are kind of like dinosaurs but that aren't dinosaurs. And especially all the Godzilla and Kaiju videos were doing really well um however i don't really like kaiju and godzilla as much as i like dinosaurs like i really love dinosaurs and kaiju is like kind of cool you know like it's like i like it but i'm not a, the biggest fan you know what i mean so but those videos were really popular so i tried making more and more and more and it wasn't making me happy so at the end of 2021 I decided to take a month off. After half a year, year of doing that, I decided to take a month off. So last year in January was the first time when I took the whole month off just to take care of myself. And I think it did a really good job. I don't know. The vacation did a really good job. Um, right before uh, I took that break or vacation, I don't know what to call it. Right before that break, I made a video for my plans for last year. Uh, but then during the break, I thought of like a lot of things that were different. Like I had all these plans, like I can try out a lot of different types of channels and then whichever one people like the most, that's the one that I'll do. But that also means I have to make a lot of videos, you know? So I ended up deciding I actually wanted to do way more live streaming. So everything in that video that I made before my break, most of almost everything I didn't do that stuff. I did almost nothing of that stuff. So that's why I've decided this year I'll make the video after the break. So if during the break I decide to do something else, then the video will at least make sense. So I decided to only do live streams last year. I left the Dino Noob channel behind and a lot of people were sad. Um, but I thought about it a lot. And this even during this break, I thought about the channel more. And I think the Dino Noob channel will probably not come back. Uh, because there's not enough dino fans on Roblox, I think. Even if I reach my goal of someday making my own big dino kind of Jurassic Park kind of fan game that I have planned. Uh, the only way the Dino Noob channel would ever come back maybe is if we do more than just Roblox dinosaurs. So maybe dinosaurs... Like we, it could just be like a react slash podcast slash let's play channel for everything that has to do with dinosaurs so it could be dino art and games and toys and media etc etc we just take all of those things and react to all of that and not just roblox because maybe then there will be enough uh so that's really the only way so for those of you who still like the dino noob and still wanted to come back let me know would you watch that 
if I would do it like that. Um, and I could try it sometime. But other than that, I don't think the Dino Noob will return as just Roblox Dino games because there just aren't enough. And there especially aren't enough players of those games and fans of those games to really make the channel work. At the start of last year, after my break, all I did was live stream. And I also decided to stream exactly the same time every day. So last year I did a lot of streaming. I streamed way more than when I didn't stream. I think I probably streamed like 300 times or something. Um, and doing it at the same time every day was really nice to put some like um, structure in my life. Is that how you say it in English as well? Structure, like the every day kind of like the same time. So it becomes kind of a habit. That was really nice for me. And this year I hope to expand that to also do some more stuff before the stream, such as editing, music list designing, uh, stream designing, recording, etc. Um, so I hope to do more of that, uh, especially for YouTube. Also for those who are paying attention, yes, the birthday of the channel, uh, at least the first video of this channel is in January. And I used to always make every year, I used to make a little video uh, on January the 18th, which is like the birthday of this channel. Happy birthday to us. But last year I missed it because of that break and this year I missed it again because of the break. So I think it's best to just move it to July because in July is my real life birthday and it's also the birthday of the live streams. And I think it's, it's pretty close, a lot closer to my birthday on YouTube. If you go all the way back to my very, very first channel, way like 10 years before this channel. So that one makes a lot more sense and then I can just have my January break. Yeah, we could even make it into like a whole week because we're celebrating multiple things. We could just make it into a whole week of celebrating and I don't know, giveaways, I don't know what. I don't know how we would celebrate, but we would just do a whole week of crazy stuff uh, every July. That would be really fun, I think. So yes, I came back from my break last year. I only did streams. A lot of you guys liked it, but some people didn't like it. I tried my best to sort of use, to do streams and videos, but over the year, slowly, um, I kind of forgot to make more videos and I made less and less videos. Even sometimes there was like a month where I didn't make a video for a whole month, which is really long for me to not make a video for a whole month. Except this month. This one doesn't count. January, because it's my break, okay? Don't, no, this one doesn't count. I also really appreciate everyone who comes to my streams and my videos. Um, for my videos, I cannot really see, but for my live streams, there's a bot who checks, who watches the most. So I just want to do a shout out to the top 10 viewers that people have watched the most on YouTube and Twitch because the first half of last year I did the live streams on YouTube and then the second half was on Twitch. Let's see. And if I don't say your name, then I'm sorry. I cannot say everyone's name because there's way too many people. So I'll just say 10. Um, if you're like just below that, like number 11 or 12, you'll know. You'll probably know. And of course, I appreciate everyone. So for the first half year I did YouTube, the top 10 watchers were Corrupted, Happy, Stefan, AZ, Angel, Engine, Scary, Ducky, Sophia, and Vera. And yeah, there's some more names that are missing from this, but I'm only doing 10. Uh, I'm also not saying the names of the people who are in the list, but who never talk. There are some people who are, lur it's called Lurker, for those who don't know. A Lurker is someone who watches a stream but doesn't talk. Like they use it like a radio in the background, or they just don't like talking, they just like watching. Uh, that's a lurker. So I won't say their name because some of them, they just want to be anonymous. So on Twitch, there's way more of these. So actually the number 10 that I'm going to say is probably more like the number 20. There's like a lot of lurkers on Twitch, apparently. Like all these names that I don't even know that apparently have watched me for hundreds of hours. I appreciate you too. But the top 10 for Twitch is Kiryu, Engine, Toast, Gyacho, Honk, Corrupted, Angel, Kihan, Spectic, and Happy2, who is not the same as the Happy from YouTube. I think it's a separate one. I think there's just, different, there's just two people called Happy. So shout out to all of you. Thank you so much for watching me um, and the Lurkers. And thank you so much to the mods. Uh, and thank you just everyone who came to the streams or videos or made it more fun and supported me in any way. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you and last year and I hope this year you will come back. Okay, that's really enough about last year. Is, is it 10 minutes already this video? Oh my, okay. 
that's enough about last year. What did I do this month when I was away? Uh, mostly nothing. At first I decided I wanted to do some things for the channel, but then I told myself, no, you workaholic, you're supposed to be on a break. You know, I keep telling myself, oh, well, I can change my music list at least. I can at least add some more songs. No, no, zero work. Zero work. I'm, I'm so addicted to doing stuff for the channel. So I had to really tell myself not to do it. So I play, of course, I played a lot of games. Um, I almost played no Roblox at all. I played, I only did like super golf every day because you get a hat. And like every day you get a hat or some money in that game, like the daily login bonus. I think that's all I did in Roblox. Then I played a lot of Minecraft, Serious Sam, uh, especially the third one, World of Warcraft, and Seven Days to Die. I also did a lot of stuff with my family, and I finally completed my Mona Lisa puzzle. I hope I have a picture on the screen. My Mona Lisa puzzle, because last year I actually, I think I started it in January last year. And I kept forgetting I even had it lying on the living room table. You know, the small table in the living room. It was just there for a whole year. Every time I added a few pieces and it was going okay for like the first half year. But then I had only black left. And then it was just sometimes I wouldn't put a single piece for a whole month. I'm also continuing my, my fitness journey or whatever people call it. Just the weight loss. The, the transformation. Some people on YouTube call it the transformation. Uh, yeah, I've lost since November, I've lost about five kilos or that's like 10 pounds. It's not really like my New Year's goal because I started earlier, uh, but I'm trying my best to keep that up. And yeah, I do watch a lot of videos of other people doing it too. So I thought like, should I also do that? Should I make vlogs? Would people watch that if I made vlogs about like the fitness journey? The transformation. I don't know. I, I, I've i tried it a, f a few times in the past on different channels and it didn't really work out. But I don't know. I could try if people want to support like that and just want to keep up to date with that. Uh, yeah, let me know if that's something you would watch. Anyway, yeah, that goal, I started that in November. So that's not really my 2023 goal. My 2023 goal is to wake up earlier. Like I said before... Um, the the time like the week from christmas until new year's uh, here on the northern side of the planet is the has the shortest day the shortest days the solstice is somewhere like december 20 like early 20th 20th of december i don't know exactly which day and after that i looked it up where i live the sun doesn't come up until 8 50 a.m that's pretty late so i was like i can try to wake up before the sun if it's 8 50 that's only a little bit before 9 a.m i can wake up it turned out not to be that easy because first of all that's when the sun is like fully up but it already starts to come up like half an hour earlier and also now because we're going towards the summer again it's like one minute earlier every day. So right now I'm already waking up at like almost 7.30, a little after 7.30 a.m. So I'm trying to raise the sun. I'm trying to wake up earlier than the sun every day, but I have to like wake up one minute earlier every day. That's kind of like a challenge that I'm doing. And then I don't know if I'll make it to the summer where the sun, wake, where the sun wakes up, what the sun comes up at like 5 a.m. or something. So I don't know if I'll make that, but... At least it's helping me wake up earlier and I think it will be really helpful, especially also for the channel, because as I said, if I wake up earlier, I can do more video editing and stuff like that. So there will be more videos and stuff. So yeah, that's part of it. Okay, well, that's enough of the break. Uh, now let's look into the future. My plans for 2023. My number one goal for Buildasaurus, or well, I don't know, for quote-unquote work is I really want to learn blender the 3d sculpting tool if you don't know blender it's yeah you can just make models in blender um, it's kind of like as if you're doing making something out of clay but on the computer that's it kind of um, I started practicing last year and I have to admit it's really confusing and as and hard there's like a thousand buttons and things so it's going to be definitely it's going to take a while to learn but at least we already got started last year uh, and it would be so cool 
to just like th be able to think of anything in your head like a ship or a house and then just be able to make it in 3d and put it in a game just like that i mean not just like that it would take time and effort of course but yeah to actually make that real i don't know i think that 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 would be really cool we could make fan art maybe even make things for the games that i'm a fan of like let's say we could just make a jetpack for build a boat or a sword for death run and i'm not saying that the makers of those games would then put those in their games but we could at least make the uh, that would be really cool for a video i think just like making a new plushie or jetpack for build a boat and it probably won't be put in the game but the video will still be really cool and it would be a really cool way to make like concept for games and fan art. For now, I think doing very big solo projects such as the egg hunt that I tried to make two years ago is too much. I need to stop thinking about like, oh, I, I want to make a whole game instead of just making parts of games. So models or learn some basic scripting and stuff like that. And then working together with all the developers, that would be a lot of fun, I think. Because if I just tell myself, oh, I'm going to make the biggest game, then of course I'm going to lose track of what I'm doing and get confused and get stuck. Uh, with the egg hunt, I just got really stuck on the scripting part. So I kind of abandoned that. Maybe someday I'll continue making one, uh, but just one step at a time. I think that's just the best way. Uh, I must admit that last year I let myself get very distracted during the streams by the games that people want me to play people were always like play Rob play doors play this play that and i always just want to play what they p want to play and i had a lot of fun becoming a doors pro <laughs> but this year i want to bring the focus kind of back to building again with longer building projects such as tycoon games build build a boat building a boat and build a boat building a boat and build a boat, making my own levels, making my own models, etc. instead of just playing random games, because then we're not build a source, then we're just random game play, then we're just Tommy games. <laughs> what would my gaming channel be if I didn't do building? Tommy games, I don't know. But that's, that's, <laughs> that's not what this channel and my live stream should be about. I feel like we should focus more on building. So yeah, building in games and building things for games. Of course, I will still I will still play random games that people want me to play, but not all the time, just sometimes, you know, like once a week or when we're celebrating something or if it's someone's birthday, we play the game they like or something like that. I don't know, stuff like that. Um, and then most of the time we can focus on building projects. I think that will be more fun. And more fitting for the channel. Uh, okay, I'm almost done. I have a few. I had a f well, I have a few more things on the list, but they're like really small. And yeah, this video is already pretty long. I'm not going to do all of those things. Uh, just let me know what your plans are for 2023. Do you guys have any like goals? So for me, it's in real life. It's wake up earlier, and for work, I guess I should call it work. For work, learn Blender. What are you guys' goals for 2023? We can support each other, maybe. Um, also, let me know about my ideas for the Dino Noob, if you want to see that. And the vlogs, the fitness vlogs, if you guys like that idea. Uh, if you would watch it. Um, if you actually watched this entire video, thank you so much. Leave a... Uh, leave a T-Rex emoji in the comments to prove that you watched it all the way to the end okay then i'll know that you actually watched it if you come if you put a comment just put a t-rex emoji in it okay please don't forget to stomp on that subscribe button or leave a, t a tiny tiny like because you have tiny t-rex arms just like me i wish much health and happiness to you and your loved ones in 2023 happy new year and see you and see you in the streams and videos goodbye friends